please make sure you guys are asking questions. When we're talking about even and odd, So we're doing even and odd. What we need to do is we need to look at what are how do we determine if something's even or odd? Now when I talked about your guys' outlines, um, if we were gonna look at the graph of this, you guys should have written down in your 1.4 outline that if it's even, it's symmetrical with the y-axis, and if it's odd, it's symmetrical with the origin. However, we don't have a graph, right? We just have an algebraic function here. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to find out was there an algebra test? That was in that blue box that you guys are supposed to write down. So here are our two rules. To determine if it's odd or even, we need to figure out if I plug in a negative x, and if I get f of x back, it's even. And if I do f of negative x, and I get negative f of x, it's odd. Well, let's go and take a look at the first one. Let's look at neither. this function. Well, if it's not neither, if it's if you don't get either of those one back, then it's neither. So let's look at an example of every single one. How about that? So if I do f x f of x equals x to the six minus two x squared plus six. So I'm going to plug in f of negative x equals negative x to the six minus two times negative x squared plus three. Follow. Negative x to the sixth power. Anything raised to the even power is going to be even, right? So that becomes an x to the sixth. Uh, a negative or negative x, negative x squared again to an even power. That's going to be positive. So x squared times negative two. Three doesn't change. So then I look at this. Is this my original function? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it is. Sorry. Is that, well, now it is, right? It wasn't before. Is this my original function? So when I do f of negative x, I get back f of x. <coughs> so therefore, it's even. Okay? 